thank you for being here. I now recognize uh, Mr. Nathan Reed for five minutes. Chairman Crawford, Ranking Member Waltz, and members of the subcommittee, thank you for the opportunity to testify today. My name is Nathan Reed, and I live and farm in Mariana, Arkansas. Cotton acreage in the Mid-South region of Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, and Tennessee is 980,000 acres, the lowest amount in several decades and down from 4 million acres just 10 years ago. A decline of this magnitude is having severe consequences for the entire cotton industry. I fear our region is at a tipping point with regard to cotton acreage and the remaining infrastructure. If some stabilizing policy is not implemented very soon, cotton acres are likely to continue their decline to the point that the remaining in infrastructure cannot survive. Production costs have continuously increased over the last decade. According to the University of Arkansas, average production costs for irrigated cotton have increased by $147 per acre since 2008, while current cotton prices are largely unchanged. With low cotton prices and tight margins, absent above average yields, producers are facing negative cash flows. The importance of cotton seed continues to grow, now representing 25% of the total value from an acre of cotton production. To address the current economic crisis, I join the other panelists, the National Cotton Council, and 125 Mid-South Ag lenders in supporting the use of administrative authority granted to USDA to designate cotton seed as an other oil seed for farm program participation. Another significant concern is USDA's current rulemaking regarding the, the determination of whether an individual is actively engaged in a farming operation. I want to emphasize the very narrow scope of the Farm Bill provision that resulted in this rulemaking process. The Farm Bill clearly stipulates that no changes in the actively engaged provisions will apply to individuals or entities comprised solely of family members. Further, the bill only requires the Secretary to, def to define the term significant contribution of active personal management. Beyond this, no other changes are required by statute. The Secretary has discretion, if deemed appropriate, to establish limits on the number of individuals that can qualify based on active personal management. But again, this is not required by law. We urge this subcommittee to work closely with USDA to ensure any changes to actively engaged provisions adhere to the intent of the Farm Bill. I also want to urge that no other changes or modifications are made relative to program eligibility, including implementation of the spousal rule. EPA's spill prevention, control, and countermeasures rule is a prime example of an ongoing regulation that is unnecessarily burdening farmers and adding costs to address a problem that does not exist. Chairman Crawford, we are extremely appreciative of you leading the efforts to rein in this regulation and ensure it is a more realistic and cost-effective rule. One of the largest production costs across the cotton belt is managing herbicide-resistant weeds. Currently, there are two new cotton traits to help manage weed resistance that have been approved by the USDA, but are still awaiting label approval by the EPA. We strongly urge this committee and others in Congress to engage with the EPA to hold them accountable for the actions that they are continuing to delay the, the availability of safe and effective crop protection products. I appreciate the members of this subcommittee for hold, holding this timely hearing to review the current conditions facing U.S. cotton. Feedback from across the industry underscores the critical importance of policy actions, such as, such as the cottonseed proposal that can provide stability for our industry. The current situation in the cotton industry goes beyond the normal challenges and is to the breaking point for many producers and those in other industry segments. Thank you for this opportunity, and I will be glad to respond to any questions at the appropriate time. Thank you, Mr. Reed.